Alrighty, so I cut out the parts for the rear fuselage and the floor um, and have already sanded them down to the right thickness and all the rest of that. And it is amazing how well these things fit together. I test fit them, so then I go ahead and I start gluing these together. But all those little slots, like that slot that I got close to, that's going to be for the wing spar. But like right there, for instance, there's a pit place. In the rear part, there's a couple of slots right there, a couple of tabs. Um, the, the parts fit really well. I mean, you have to cut them out carefully, but the parts fit is amazing. Oh, note to self, don't use a Smarty wrapper as a place to put your glue. Um, but they, they work very, very well. Um, it, it basically uh, snaps into place. Just like we were talking about the last time, you can see the, the pieces, the little ears going in where they're supposed to. And everything is straight and true, meaning once you snap those in, um, you know, the whole thing is, 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 is perpendicular where it's supposed to be and straight. So, for instance, the stabilizer's back there and the rudder will be nice and vertical. Uh, it's just, it's going to be great. So I'm just holding that down, let it dry, making sure it's uh, in good shape. Um, which it appears to be. So that part, I decided to do it in this sequence, put down the rear part, and then this uh, middle um, sort of uh, spar that goes right down the middle of the, the back. So that has to put some glue on those tabs in the front because they butt up against that rear bulkhead. Um, and then all along the bottom because they're going to attach that to that uh, the bottom piece of wood I put on there. Uh, and there's a real ingenious spot here where there's a slot right in the back that's going to go around or slot into the tail skid. And um, again, that piece is, is engineered. It goes right in and helps lock everything in place. And you can see that little tab, little tongue is going to go into that front piece. But see, I'll put on that back piece first. Slides right in. It's very self-explanatory. Slide along the line. You can see where it's supposed to go. And then, bam, right into that bulkhead. And, uh, you know, really, really nice. And then, uh, because the bottom fuselage part is thinned, it um, you can kind of push it up against and you'll form a really nice curve the way it's supposed to be or a straight part. It'll look, it'll look nice, believe me. Um, looks great. And uh, you just make sure um, everything is touching. Then I put in my formers. There's only two. And they fit very nicely um, um, along the, the spine. And um, the only thing I'm a little worried about is they don't make a curved part on the top section for the turtle deck. There's just going to be one sort of uh, triangular strake that goes down the middle. And I hope that that is enough to keep the shape and make it look nice. But we're doing it as the kit tells us. These slide right in, kind of lock in place. And uh, you just put them in to make sure that they're straight and true, which, uh, again, they, they, uh, they are. It takes a little extra time to make sure because stuff does sort of move around a little bit. Looks good. Put on the second one in the back, just like the first. Put a little glue down. And again, in this case, I'm using the wood glue for, for strength. I think the tacky glue would be fine. That uh, has never fallen apart on me yet. But I figure since I'm gluing paper to wood, and in a lot of cases it's wood to wood, that wood glue is going to be on there forever. Um, it'll be very, very strong. And I don't have any, we're any worries of it potentially coming off. Um, put that last former in the very same way. You just slide it right in. As long as you're again accurately cut and as long as your little slots are wide enough everything locks in place beautifully and uh, that one's supposed to be a little tall because there's another piece that goes back there um, that's going to be sort of where the uh, stabilizer ends up um, ends up attaching uh, then uh, there's the top piece and this is top and is flat and square and I test fit it, it slides right up in there like that, and then you can just push it down to make sure it touches the formers. Uh, and again, it, the formers are, I've cut it and sanded things carefully, but the formers all are in line. Um, they're in line with that vertical piece, so they aren't above or below. 
So I'll get good glue contact with that top thing, that little little top base of the turtle deck. Uh, and it's going to make it very, very strong, very, very straight. And um, it'll make skinning it very easy. It won't warp on you. Uh, that's part of the reason why I like using um, balsa wood more so than the traditional um, thin cardboard or, or some kind of little skinny chipboard um, or building board because um, the balsa I'm used to working with, but it does seem to hold everything nice and true. And you put a little bit of pressure on it, doesn't go anywhere. So here I'm just kind of clamping with my thumbs, making sure everything is good. And then the last piece is the uh, dorsal strake um, along that dorsal side, or top, the top part. And that just has two, glue on two parts. And uh, you can see the lines where you're supposed to put it. And so that makes sure you're in the center. And again, if everything's built correctly, all those lines are easy to follow and you end up with something that's really nice. So that's that piece. And again, I sight down the top and just sort of make sure, generally speaking, it's absolutely fine. And then I just do a lot of fiddling to make sure it's okay. And then the very, very last piece here that we're gonna show you is that little triangular piece. That's gonna be, I think, the base of where the stabilizers are gonna, or the stabilizer is gonna go. So that just goes in. Um, it just slides in. It doesn't have a slot or anything. It just slides in as long as you uh, match everything up and make sure it's uh, straight and level um, by eye there. It's it's fine. If you need to, you can shim the stabilizer a little bit when it comes time to add it. But this uh, looks great. And now it's starting to really look like a, a camel fuselage. This took me um, not long to put together. Uh, and this I didn't show you because my battery is going down. But those two... Um, pieces are going to go along the side because of camels and pups and Newports. There's usually a strake that goes down on either side because there's like a triangular part that the uh, skins will go over. Uh, but there it is and I'm just kind of spin around so you can see the whole thing um, together. And uh, gosh, the next thing to do really, I still want to do some interior stuff, but the next thing to do is to start skinning. And I'll probably start with the bottom do the sides, uh, and then lastly the top. We'll see how that goes.